Hello, Baltunis. Welcome to the third session of how to create a short product demo clip. So we now have uh, a script and a voiceover. So uh, let's see how we take these two uh, to the next stage. So here we have the five points, and I mentioned before that each point is a different scene. So I will now copy the first line of the first scene, and I will go back to Powtoon, and I will paste that line here. Uh, and now I'm adding a new slide for each scene. So what I'm going to do next is copy each of the scenes into its own slide. Um, I should do this for the rest, but let's now concentrate on, on the first one. So let's hear what we have. Are you tired of doing stuff yourself? Do you want to do less stuff? So what I'm trying to do right now is to take from the voiceover the important words and work with them. Um, so I think that doing stuff yourself sounds pretty important to me. Uh, I'm copying it to a new box. And less stuff at the end, also something that I would like to graphically emphasize. So what I'm actually doing is turning a few words of the script to uh, players on the stage. So later on, I, uh, they will combine with more graphics and pictures and uh, whatever I choose to uh, bring to the stage. So I can delete that right now. Uh, and now let's talk uh, just a bit about um, design. So I like to use, uh, for Picto style, I like to use this specific background, although you have uh, a few more right now. The paper one, uh, the paper with lines, and also you can open here and you have uh, flat colors that you can choose from. Uh, so I would like to use this one for this specific uh, present tune. Also in the next slide. Now I can add it manually right now or if I delete these three and now I add new ones uh, it remembers the last background that I uh, used. So um, I don't have to do this all over again. So now I choose different font because this is the default one and uh, I feel that this present tune should have a bit more official uh, font. I would choose this one. Uh, it's a bit more uh, graphic. So let's do this here. And now uh, the next stage is to time these two elements to the voiceover. So let's hear the voiceover again. Are you tired of doing stuff yourself? So doing stuff yourself is around second two. So I would go here and take this, uh, select this. As you can see, this is the duration bar of this specific object. And each other object that I work with in Powtoon uh, has this uh, duration bar. So now I'm going to decide where it should appear around second two. Let's see. Are you tired of doing stuff yourself? Fantastic. Do you want to do less stuff? less stuff. Let's take that one as well and put it around second five. Less stuff. Fantastic. Now I can also choose uh, in which way I want these elements to appear on the stage. So right now you see this button here and here. This is the enter effect and this is the exit effect. So I click on it and this uh, options appear. Uh, you have pop effect, up, down, right and left. Now when you choose one of these, let's say uh, the left one, now the object will appear from the right to left and I can also add the hand effect here. So actually the hand uh, brings it into the screen. Uh, let's see. The next one is the exit effect, uh, which also can uh, be, I can also decide that it would be to the bottom and with the hand. Okay, although right now it's not necessarily the right choice. Let's see what we've got. Are you tired of doing stuff yourself? Do you want to do less stuff? So everything is timed uh, pretty good. Uh, but... Let's keep uh, listening to the voiceover. Hex is proud to present. 
now you see that we're already hearing uh, the second scene, which is actually here. So what we should do is delete a few seconds from this slide. Do you want to do less stuff? Less stuff. So around second five is where the, this scene uh, should end. So let's delete this. Let's hear it. Do you want to do less stuff? The mess okay. Now I want to see how this slide uh, is transitioned to the next one. So now I will use this player instead of this one, which uh, affects only the slide that I'm in, while this one affects uh, the whole, all of the slides of the movie. So let's play it from here. Domestic Hacks is proud to present the Penguin Butler, the best replacement for doing domestic stuff yourself. Okay, once again we are entering the text of the third scene, so once again I should delete uh, these seconds. Now I should carry on and do that for the rest of the slides until actually the fifth slide should work perfectly with the voiceover. So basically that's it for now. Um, see you later in the next session. Bye bye.